Welcome to Greeter Lakes. Uh, there's Little Greeter Lakes at Spader Reservoir, which is in by Sultan, Washington. Uh, we were originally headed out for uh, West Fork Foss, but there were 32 vehicles. People were parking down the Forest Service Road, so uh, I decided to try for a Plan B, which of course lands us here at about noon, and we're going to be going from where we are right here all the way and then up these switchbacks past Little Greeter Lake and hopefully to Big Greeter Lake. I think it's about five miles total. We're planning on doing about eight today and uh, since we had this detour it left us with a completely empty parking lot and uh, a completely empty trail presumably so we're gonna get on the way. Given the unfortunate mess that was going on at the last place, it did set me behind, but it is nice to find a place completely to myself. Uh, I expected to see at least a couple of cars out here. It is a nice weekday in the summer. This, this place is just not as well known. But it is marked as hard. I'll have to look at my map and see how much elevation we're gonna gain. I forgot to start that, so I'll go ahead and do that now. Well, these new foot bridges are awesome. Moving pretty fast. The trail kept up real, real nice here. Um, this is, a, I think, PUD property. Where we're camping, I think, is actually Morning Star Conservation Area, which you have to hike to it, basically, like we're doing now. Um, for as nice as this trail is, it's very shocking. There's not more people here. One thing is for sure. Even in these non-waterproof trail runners, I just have to be real careful. It's not expected to rain, and I'm just moving so much faster. Go past this place called Bear Creek Day Use Area. There's a couple of bathrooms. It looks like there's a really big paper wasp nest hanging off that sign. There's also an overlook at the reservoir down there. It's always nice to stop for a few minutes. Well, I can definitely tell you now that it's starting to become more uh, moderate in temperature the bugs have made an appearance but i guess it's kind of be to be expected over here by a fairly large reservoir uh, we were only about two and a half miles in but it's been an easy flat two and a half miles and uh somebody covered up the number of miles on the sign there so i just have to I guess it's around two more miles. I think that's what the map said, so. But it's been pretty easy so far. It's kind of a hidden treasure, I guess. At least during the week it is. I think that scat back there is 
black bear chilling out on the trail eating berries so I gotta remember to stay loud. Well, it looks like this is the part of the trail over here, but I think it's called Ref Little Reflecting Lake or something like that, or Reflection Lake. There are really small ponds over here, but if I'm not mistaken, this is where it starts to get very steep, so I'm gonna have to probably zip off the bottom of these convertible pants and lose the hat, but we'll see how far I can go before I just can't sweat anymore. Pants and the hat didn't make it long as we started to go uphill, I started sweating, so. I don't know, for whatever reason, it must have rained here recently. It's very humid here. You see droplets of water everywhere. They were forecasted to get a little rain here last night, but it was drying as time went by. It's mostly the Sultan forecast. So. But, whew, it is fairly steep. We finally got through those switchbacks, like 1,500 feet of them, and uh, we're coming up on the lake about a quarter of a mile. I'm going to stop and tie my shoe and everything, but yeah, I'm kind of glad to be done with that rocky, rooty mess. That was pretty tough. We've made it to Little Greeter Lake. Um, you can see a little campsite back there. Um, I'm gonna look around and check the other lake and see how the campsites are over there. And if this one's the best, this one will be the one I choose, but I think I'm gonna check them all out first. There doesn't appear to be anyone else out here. I'm noticing there's a bunch of moisture up here. Even to knock the branches. Like it recently rained. It is kind of foggy and chilly, mid 60s or something, and it's not cold. Or I haven't felt any rain all day. So weirdly, a bunch of moisture up here. Well, after all that climbing and that first little greeter lake, we've made it to the campsite, which you can see back here and um it's got a decent view of the lake over here but uh i'll be uh setting up the tent and maybe going and finding some water and then maybe doing a little relaxing it was worth it a lot of climbing though pretty tired Well, you wouldn't know it from back there, but it gets dark in almost, I don't know, at 8.22, and it's about 6.40 right now. So we have like an hour and a half. But you wouldn't know it from looking up. It's just a really foggy kind of dreary day. Pretty warm. It's, I think it's in its mid-60s, so it's, I've got the long pants and the long sleeves on. It's chilly enough. I'm sure I will be glad tonight that I have the sleeping bag I did with the liner because it feels like it might be a little chilly but it's really nice now the bugs are joining me well 
Well, I don't know if you can tell it from back there, but that uh, fog deck is supposed to be rolling in. It's supposed to get real foggy tonight. It might sprinkle just a little bit, but I think now that I've got the water, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna have that tikka masala and uh, maybe crack that beer. Well, as a uh, watch fog start to form and dance across that lake, I'm gonna go ahead and cook that chicken tikka masala and get the bag hung and have that beer and uh, probably turn in for the night. Um, it's starting to get chilly. I had to pull out the 650 fill power down jacket. It's not quite cold enough for it yet, but it's almost there. I'm glad I brought the lightest of winter bailout junk because it's, it's chilly tonight. Well, good morning. It looks like uh, I slept a little longer than I wanted to. It's almost nine, but I've almost got everything packed up, everything back into the bag. So I'll be taking the tent down here pretty soon. I'll probably have a cup of coffee. But I'm gonna get this morning hike underway as quickly as possible. We've got the tent taken down, time to pack up the bag and hopefully make the four hours or whatever it was, three or four hours back down to the car. It's gonna be all downhill, steep downhill. So we'll see how different it is. Looks like we're getting to the little area between the lakes. It's very overgrown, so I'm gonna have to literally whack the bushes to get all the moisture off of them as I pass through here. Well, it looks like we made it to Little Greeter Lake again. It is a pretty lake. But after that is the uh, awful switchbacks. Big Greeter Lake's over that little rise and Little Greeter Lake's there. And this is Little Greeter Falls over here. Well, as we finally pass the Little Greeter Lake sign, time to start going downhill. Got about a mile of fairly steep, um, about 1,500 feet. I think it's a little over a mile, mile, mile point two. <laughs> I went up it yesterday, so I should be able to get down it today. Take a little break here. I was gonna say the two lakes that you saw, one is Little Greeter Lake, one is Big Greeter Lake, but the peak in the background is Static Peak. It's only like 3,800 feet, so not the tallest peak ever. Something I'll check, double check it, but it those mountains all contribute to the snow melt that goes into those two small lakes, and then obviously Spader Reservoir, and then the one that they actually use for Everett's water supply. Made it down, 
to the flat part. There's no more descending. Um, it's only a couple of more miles to the car. I think I'm gonna stop and eat a snack and grab water if I can. I guess do a little bushwhacking through here. But it should only be another hour or two before back to the car. Well, only about a half a mile from the car on the Greer Lakes Trail. I would say it's a great trail, other than it's really steep and it's kind of punishing if you're not used to the climbing. There's a lot of switchbacks there in mile three and four, but it's still kind of steep through five and then it flattens out on top. And then these first couple of miles here, after you get out of the car, flat. But that bit in the middle is intense. It's like two and a half miles and about 1,500 feet. And if you're not used to it, look out. Um, so those people were day hiking it and I assume a lot of people do, but I overnighted it and uh, I did really enjoy it. So from JW Outdoors, we're at Spader Reservoir in Greeter Lakes. Thanks for watching.